All right, we decided we were gonna go ahead and check a couple lines before we went to bed. Let my wife pull one in for the first time. Hand me that hook. Okay, go ahead and pull down below it. Oh, we got one. Little channel cat. Nice, put it in the boat. Bring it over. Nice. Yeah! I think we'll take him back and eat him. Look at it. Her first throw line fish. Nice. All right, everybody. My wife pulled in her first uh, throw line fish ever. This little channel cat. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean him and cook him right here over this fire. I uh, forgot my skin and pliers, so uh, bear with me here because uh, I usually don't fillet catfish, but I'm going to this time. And the bugs are starting to attack me. All right. Normally, I would uh, try to skin him first, like I said. We're going to do this a little bit different this time. It's getting pretty dark, so hopefully you guys can see what's going on. He's a little guy. I, uh, I like to throw most of the big ones back. Channel cat don't bother me that much because there's so many of them. That's not a very good fillet. My wife doesn't eat fish. She's currently filming me. Uh, she's eaten fish a couple times. There's a certain family that will cook fish and she'll eat their fish sometimes, but for some reason, she refuses to eat mine. She might try it tonight since it's her first fish on a throw line, maybe a little bite of it. But I'm just gonna flay this guy off. best I can in the dark. My knife's not as sharp as I want it to be. And now the smoke from the fire is over here. All right. Excuse me. All right, let's see if I can get some of this off here. I may be wasting a little bit of the meat, but that's because I don't have the best knife or lighting right now for this. Or the best cutting board, it's not very level. This is why I like to skin them, because then I don't have to waste any on the skin side. That's a good, good little fillet. I'll get the rest of that off here, here in a minute. I don't even have a regular set of pliers on me right now to do this. But at least we're out here camping, enjoying a good time together without the children for once in a blue moon. So I'm gonna make the best of it. I'll save those, eat the rest of it here in a little bit. Right, walk over here real quick, rinse them off. You guys see the whole process so you know that we're actually doing a real catch clean and cook here and not some staged crap that you see sometimes where somebody acts like they caught something and cooks something that they've been soaking or 
some other species of fish that they're lying about there. There's the little flays we got here. I couldn't find the breading that I want, so we're gonna try this Louisiana fish fry breading, New Orleans style. I've had the chicken breading before. I'm hoping it's similar to that, it has a little bit of spice to it. Not too much, but a, enough to uh, enough to give her some flavor. I prefer Andy seasoning. I believe you can get it at Bass Pro Cabela's. I order mine online. But this will have to do because I was in a hurry for this camping outing. And I just wanted to be able to show you the things I love to do. So we're gonna go over here and drop them in the cast iron and then we'll be right back with you soon. Got her a little, a little more than golden brown here. Just having trouble. That's a good piece right there. We'll uh, we'll test that one out with the grease drain. A little overdone there. Uh, it's kind of hard controlling the fire, but that's that little channel cat that we just caught. You watched me uh, butcher him as cleaning him. It wasn't a very good clean, but. Now, once it uh, gets a little cool, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and test them out. Just pulled her off the cast iron pot over there, that little channel cat. We're gonna go ahead and tear her apart. Look at that, nice white meat. It's a little warm still, but. Excellent. <laughs> How is it? It turned out really good. You want to try a piece? Yeah. Good stuff. Very good. Everybody wants those flatheads, but the little one, two pound channel cats. I mean, look at that white meat right there.